Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I had my friend Letty come over and she did some resin painting with me. Now I thought this would be great for anyone getting new into resin art because she asked some great questions that otherwise I wouldn't know to answer, okay? So this is a bit of a longer video because anyone doing a new resin painting isn't gonna get it done in five minutes. You know what I mean? They're gonna kind of take their time, ask the questions, they're a little more hesitant. So it is a longer video, be prepared for that. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm here with my friend Letty. And we're going to do some resin painting today. Letty has done one resin painting before. Um, so this is going to be, you know, this is the test. I know. <laughs> to see what but I'm still learn. a newbie, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we have a really exciting color combo. Um, and then also for anyone interested, uh, I found out she does USANA which is kind of like personal health. It's the beginning of the year. So I'll put her link to her website down in the description if you want to check that out. It's like, you know, health. Yeah, products, exactly. Vitamins. We do like vitamins, supplements, meal replacements. Yeah. And also um, botanical skincare, you know. Because this is the largest organ on your body, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I taught my daughter yesterday. Your epidermis is showing. <laughs> That's awesome. Never gets old, right? Okay. For everyone who doesn't know, epidermis means skin, but a lot of people don't know that. So, anyways. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get to painting here. Okay, guys, I'm going to go over the materials we're using real quick. So, first of all, we're using the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. And then, color-wise, I'm actually really excited about the colors we're using. So, we're using four different mica powders. The Stone Coat Bronze Metallic the gold dust metallic, which is gorgeous. Uh, this is Leyre's uh, turquoise blue metallic mica powder. And then uh, the Color Cottage Heather Glen, which is my favorite purple to date. And then we're using the Stone Coat Countertops white base tint, black base tint, and the teal base tint. So this is going to be gorgeous, I think. So let's try to keep our canvases a little more forward so the camera can see a little better. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have donned our gloves. Um, so I like to kind of start with the base tints. We're gonna have kind of white be our primary base tint here. So I'm gonna use about half and then I'm gonna kind of just move this around. Um, I'm gonna be fast and quick and do it with my hands. Okay, and now what you totally don't have to. <laughs> what's the difference between the base tint and the other kind? And the mica powder? Mica powder. Um, well, base tints are thicker and they're more like a paint. Um, the mica powder is, I mean, it's a powder, so it's generally a little more transparent, but you can make it kind of thicker. And then it adds a metallic sheen, which you don't get from the base tints. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is the black base tint. Look at Letty all clean with her stick. <laughs> <laughs> so you're spreading it over your whole canvas. Yeah. Because um, I don't know if you remember when I taught you last time, but it's best to, like, to get the, to the whole okay. canvas covered and then work on a design. Okay. As opposed to kind of working on a design as you go, because otherwise you're going to be moving everything around. Okay. So I'm going to get the black in here, and I don't think we used the black on the last one. So no, we didn't. I'm going to show you how the black and white react together, because it's amazing. Oh, okay. All right, so this is my little trusty torch. And this kind of sets them in motion. So look at those cells popping up yeah. on the edge there. Wow. And it'll just keep on going. Now where do we get one of these torches? Is that, can I get it at the hardware store? Or do I have to go to like a special art store? No, this is from Home Depot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is burns o um, So it's like $30, I think, for that one. And then there's like the bigger ones over there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go in here now with the teal. This is the teal base tint. So I'm kind of creating sort of a pattern as you go. And you can either kind of pour it like this or you can also, uh, what I like to do sometimes is kind of create some like striations with a stick. 
through there. Oh, okay. Which then you have a bit more control over it as opposed to the pouring. Pouring it, you're gonna get a little more of a mess. So I'm gonna kind of get a lot of teal through here. Yeah. And okay. remember, don't get married to anything until <laughs> that's right. It's done. Be you open know? and creative, yeah. right? That's don't, what we should don't do. Don't marry okay, it. So don't get engaged. Make sure I got my edges covered here. All right. So now, should I do? I should do black first to do the contrast. Um, it's totally up to you, uh, but the black should definitely go nearer to the bottom. Like the mica powders do better on top. Okay. All right. Because otherwise, if you put the base tints on top of a mica powder, it kind of just swallow it up. Okay. So it's best to do the base tints and then get in there with the mica powders. And then I like to just kind of torch as I go, mm -hmm. which keeps it fluid and kind of keeps everything, you know, molds it all together, you know. I don't know if that's even the right word. But... <laughs> and then you can also, of course, tilt as you go. Maybe a little tilting here. And then I'm going to start to get in there with the mic powders. Ooh, I like it so far. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, I love tilting because I think it also helps really bring everything together. So I'll show you in a second. This could probably use a little more heating. but So see this really cool pattern up here? Oh, yeah, with them coming together. Yeah, and that's obtained by the tilting, so it gives you less of this, like, stark divide. I see, yeah. And kind of starts blending them together. More of, like, okay. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to heat my black. Yeah. So just don't burn it. And then I just... <laughs> did you use the torch before? I think so. I think we used the heat gun, actually. Oh, we did use the heat gun. Yeah, right. so press it. You have to hold it down, and then you're going to just go kind of quickly, and don't touch your canvas with the flame. Okay. Right. If it starts smoking, turn it off. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Yeah. Is that good? Or is that not You enough? would need more, yeah. Okay. Don't not, be afraid yeah, of like it. Just, <laughs> just, all right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We used the So you'll see thing. these bubbles there. If they're mm -hmm. not popping as you're going by, that means you're not doing enough. Okay. All right. Yeah, see know. that? Look at there all these go. tricks. Yeah. This is why you need a pro to help you out <laughs> the first few times. Yeah. Okay. So this is definitely intended to be more helpful for newbies because it's... I like teaching new people because then I get questions that I wouldn't otherwise know that I need to answer, you know what mm -hmm, I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this a little bit more. Okay, so you think that that's, that's good because you don't have a lot of bubbles For now, yeah. All I right. think that's fine. You can always torch more later, you know. And I'm going in here with the bronze, and I think the bronze with this teal is just gorgeous. Such a cool color combination. So now as you're doing this, are you like thinking about a theme or you're just nope. sort of like going where the <laughs> I just paint, go for it. Go where the paint leads you. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean I kind of have colors in my mind that I love to go together, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. Other than that, I just let it flow. Okay. And we want to keep the base tints are heavier, right? So they're gonna stay on the bottom more. Yeah. And then we have some purple. Ooh. So now, at this point, should I heat again? Should I start messing with it, moving around? Uh, either what or. Think? What do you feel like? Okay. I so, mean, I would kind of start tilting it at this point. Okay. But you can heat and then tilt is and better. And then that would make it go faster. Yeah. Heating it will help it be more fluid. Okay. All right. And we had to heat. You heated the resin before we started too, right? Yeah. To make it day. easier to mix and pour. Okay. Especially for those of our... Those people in those cold climates. Yeah, you have to. You can't do resin in like a really cold area. Um, so I have the heater going on in here pretty much 24-7. <laughs> Alright, this is that gold dust. I think it's gold. <laughs> Which is such a gorgeous color. That's really not a color so much as like a sheen. And then this is the Le Res Turquoise Blue. This is getting mighty colorful. Okay, I'm going to grab the torch real quick. So yeah, it's good to keep kind of torching as you go. Keep everything fluid.
Wow, yeah, you've got some really cool layers going there. Yeah. And the film helps kind of bring it together. Now right now I just have black in the middle. I think I'm going to add some black in some other places. So now if someone is just starting out, do you think that they should try and do acrylics first? Or they're so different that it's just sort of what, what kind of look they're going for? Yeah, they're really different. I mean, either one. Some people have never done the acrylic and do resin all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. um, people are generally scared of resin because <laughs> there's a lot of, like, warnings, you know, of, like, must be done in a well-ventilated space. You got to heat it up. Don't light it on fire. Can't right, self-combust. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, and I understand that. It's also very sticky and just working with it's totally different. However... All that being said, once you actually start working with it, you'll find that it's really easy and so much fun. Yeah, and the finished product is so unique, I think. Yeah, totally. So, don't be scared is your advice. Exactly. Just go for it. And then what if someone doesn't know anything about color? Like, what's your advice to them? Uh, I would stick with pretty much basics of, like, cold versus warm. Okay, so right, let's, let's pretend I don't even know what that means. Okay. <laughs> so, um, right now we have, like, the bronze and gold are warm colors, right? Okay. And that would be, like, reds, yellows. Like, if you think of, like, like, fall. fall. Okay. Yeah, think of autumn versus winter kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Or summer versus winter, even, would be better. So, um, yeah, then the cold colors would generally be anything along the blue tones. Um greens, purples, etc. Now, purples can have kind of both, mm -hmm. but generally, uh, I generally stick purples with the cool tones, but I can also easily go with warm. So I kind of just go one or the other, like kind of stick with either winter or summer, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's, shouldn't have too many difficulties with that. And I am done. I actually love this. Oh, that's super cool. It's also a really hard part is knowing when to stop. Yes, I know. And that's probably and that is something as I a have newbie, down. you're going to want to keep messing with it. Yeah. But I go, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. If I have that thought, then I go, good, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. So I'm just touching up on my sides here. And then I generally, since I did just tilt it, I'll give it one final torch, just strictly for the sake of getting rid of any additional air bubbles. Mm. And then I move so what happens if we place. leave those air bubbles? Let's say we're, we're not paying attention and we forget to do that. They will dry in there and you'll be sad. Ah, uh, okay, so then my be. painting will be all bubbly. Okay. Yeah, so then, uh, but you can easily fix that. You would just sand it and put a clear coat on it. Okay. Yeah, so even that's, easy to fix. So I'm going to move this to a safe flat, safe flat drying area. Come on, take your painting with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've only ever used a torch for a creme brulee, so this is very, this is super exciting. <laughs> this is interesting, huh? Any other questions come to mind that we haven't addressed yet? No. So just if, as you're sliding it, if you're n not, I don't know, I guess, yeah, how, you know, how do you know when you're done? You just are like, oh, it looks good. Yeah. I mean, like I said, pretty much when I go, oh, I like that. It looks good. Uh -huh. If I'm happy with it, then I leave it. Because uh -huh. uh, otherwise you keep going and then you're like, oh, no, what did I do? Uh, but if you... Um, if you stop and come back later, you can always do more. So I guess that's the other thing too, is you can always do more. You can't do less. <laughs> right, right. So you could always add another layer or whatever. You can't really take a layer off. But okay. I guess you could always go over it a, as many times as you want. So. Mm -hmm. so there's really no wrong way with resin, which is really good. 
so you would suggest people stop when it feels good and then they can always do a second layer. Yeah, if they really want come to. back to it later if you're not sure, if you're not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to move the camera real quick just to get a little better view on yours. Okay, now we can see your painting better. Um, yeah. So this one, yeah, I kind of started sort of geometric just because, again, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but it kind of it kind of looks Ooh, like marbly right now. Yeah, and I'm really liking. I like that. And you definitely got your teal in there. Mm-hmm. And the I love how the bronze is sort of mixing, and the little pops of of gold in there. Yeah. And it almost looks it's very like marbly and veiny. Yeah, I like it. So if you're happy with it, then okay. just go don't and leave it. Don't mess with it. Yeah. No, I see some bubbles. Okay. So, so torch it real quick. Okay. Now this is just like a sweeping over torch just for the air bubbles, so you okay. don't want to hold it in one place too long. You're probably going to need to do a little more than that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a quick close-up on both. All right, here is Letty's. I love this, and I love how that gold has that just that little peekaboo, you know, little hint, shimmer. This is super cool. I really wasn't sure where you were going with this, but this came out awesome. <laughs> oh, I love this part. Yeah, super cool. I already moved mine to my drawing area over here, so it's not as good light, but here's close-up kind of really like how this did this over here little purple peeking through there and then there's that gold in there as well all right guys I hope you enjoyed this um, definitely give resin a try if you haven't already I mean from a total newbie how easy was that Oh, it was super easy like I was a little stressed I'm not gonna lie <laughs> because I'm like I don't know what I'm doing but you know, it's super fun, and it's definitely got that calming thing of the making the art. And yeah, it's, right? It's so cool. Therapeutic. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> there you go. Right. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and check out uh, Letty's website, which will be down in the description if you would like. And then we'll see you guys next time.